go on YouTube. Today I got a new scene cutting off, but before I get started, I'm gonna say subscribe if you haven't already. Cause this is the only knife channel I know of that buys every single knife they review to make sure every review is honest. So today I got the scene cut Jubal, the S229-1, and I got purple. Here's the knife. It's unlike any other knife in my collection because it is super thin, super narrow, very discreet carry, I'd call it. In fact, as my thumbnail had the Sharpie beside it, it is just slightly wider than a Sharpie. Just like all other thin cups, you get a zipper pouch with a couple stickers and a microfiber cloth. Nothing new there. Now, a lot of people are going to hate on this knife because it's so small and narrow. But it's very different. And, I mean, yeah, it would make a great letter opener for sure. But, yeah, nobody's got a knife like this in their collection. It's kind of like the Civivi Clavi, Clavi, however you say it, which I don't have. This was $40.99. So basically $41 and if you got a if you use a discount code at White Mountain Knives that's cheaper than that so this is an in-house design from Syncut it's got a D2 blade which is uh, one of the unfortunate things about it it's bead blasted but here's what it is um, 2.95 inches you got a one cliff shape and a flat grind. Blade stock on this is 2.3 millimeters or 0 0.09. It's very thin. 6.77 inches overall. Let's compare it to a few knives. Petrified Fish Scout, which was my most narrow knife before this, it has been passed by a lot. I got the Ganzo FH41S. These are pretty close to the same length. The Petrified Fish and the Ganzo are slightly longer. Here's the Civivi Mini Praxis. That's basically the same length. And the Kaiser Drop Bear throwing a popular knife for comparison. It's a little bit bigger because it's seven inches. A lot wider. Now I'm not saying this would be a great EDC knife for everyday carry, but it will be a good knife to carry. Cause it'll cut, it'll do everything you need, and it's very lightweight. Got a 3.81 inch handle, 0.42 inches wide, and the close width in the pocket is only 0.71 inches. Kind of crazy. You got T8 on the few screws, even the pocket clip, which is kind of abnormal for sink cut. Uh, 1.7 ounces, really lightweight. As you see, the clip is not deep carry. And it's not reversible but I'm all right with it not being deep carry for this knife you only have that much sticking out so it's all right they should have made it reversible probably but and I picked the purple G10 it's in two other colors I believe gray and I'm not sure what the other color is but I had to go with purple it's a liner lock so you got good lock up. Um, the access isn't the best in the world, but it's not bad. I'm not struggling to close it. It's a front flipper only. As you see, they did jump up and over just enough to where you can open it like that or with your thumb. You do all the little tricks. Pretty easy to front flip. There's no little lanyard hole or pin or backspacer. 
Now I don't care. I don't use lanyards on the Os, but I would think this one would have been a good candidate for it. But they chose not to do that. You have a really nice sharpening troll. Check out the edge. Not super clean, but not bad either. About average. My dislikes on this knife, the clip should have been reversible. Although that doesn't matter much for me because I'm right handed. Well, for some people, they should have added a lantern spot for this knife. Would have loved to see inset liners, of course. And the biggest one, quit bead blasting D2. I mean, for real. I know it takes a lot less time and it's easier than stone washing, but nobody likes it. It's easy to rust. But yeah, I do recommend this knife. Very thin, unlike any knife in your collection, more than likely, and come in handy. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have this link down below, along with my Instagram. Go and check that out. I usually post my knives up there before I do here. And uh, give me a like and a comment, and see you in the next one.